Hi, Namit. Good to see you. Hey, Roshni. How are you? I'm good. Are you still in Delhi? I'm still in Delhi and um, good to see you again. I know. The last time we had this interesting chat, uh, you know, on life, spirituality, and how we should keep positive. This time yeah. I'll come with a set of questions which are straight from all your female followers. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, so you have to gear up. I'm ready for, for it. <laughs> okay. yeah, 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 full power. <laughs> Done. Let's go for this one. So, uh, Namath, first question. Are you single? Yes, at the moment. Okay. I mean, it's a lot time, actually. A lot of time? Two years? Three years? Five years? No, no. I mean, a lot time in the sense, uh, the entire period of uh, me shooting for Sanjeevni, I was uh, not in a relationship. But yeah, I was really, I was, uh, I was in a relationship with my show. I literally couldn't even be in one because uh, my time was completely consumed by uh, the shoot. And now it's the lockdown that is actually <laughs> pre preventing me from meeting anybody. But it's okay. So, so we believe right now you are completely single. Completely single, yes. <laughs> Partially, <laughs> no, <nahi>, fully. <laughs> Okay. But tell us, what is your idea of love? Idea of? Love. Love. Well, um, the way I see it, I mean, of course, we are all individuals. We all have our own lives and life's, life experiences. Till we meet another person who we feel um, we want to spend time with or be in a relationship with. So, um, once we do that, I think Sometimes we kind of get too engrossed in each other and we get like, um, I won't say obsessed, but uh, you know, it becomes each other becomes, you know, the center of your happiness or like uh, in most cases, not in all. So the way I see it, it's like when, when two people come together, they need to be individually uh, solid in the sense they need to really first love themselves to really be, uh, completely okay with by themselves uh, without having anybody in their life and when they meet that person it should be like a like a partnership where you're not dependent on each other but you're actually living life together as two individual entities where you support each other where you have good times together and um, earlier I used to feel that you know they uh, the couple needs to have similar ideals in life give is direction mein jana hai aur ye hai. But now I feel even if you have different ideals, you know, you need to have that complete respect for each other to help each other reach, reach those ideals or those goals, you know. So um, I think that's what it is for me. I mean, baki sab, those uh, filmy terms and filmy things, uh, I, I personally am not that a romantic. I mean, so many times uh, I've had scenes where I'm supposed to say certain things and I'm like, okay. Uh, so I have to really kind of bring it out from somewhere because in real life, I don't have to do that. You know, like I'm, I'm practical. I mean, I show affection and I, uh, you know, show love in my own way. And uh, we all are different. So, it's not necessary to do X, Y, Z, D, to impress someone or to show love. It's just, I mean, your individual, your body language, your, you know, small, small things actually make it up. And uh, the person will know. Yeah. So that's what I feel. Yeah. In fact, you answered my next question also, where I was about to ask you whether you were a romantic or you're quite uh, a practical guy when it comes to love and emotion. Professional, I'm professional at this now. Yeah? I I know the next question well. Is it? You quickly answered. <laughs> but you know, uh, Namath, actually, this is something very interesting. What you said about self-love. That is a way. You know, I think two people can help each other grow. Because if you're not in love with yourself first. Yeah. And only love with the other, I think therein lies the problem. And, they and, and I think that's something very, very, uh, I mean, it's kind of tough, especially in, uh, you know, the times where we live in. We are so constantly doing, uh, you know, bombarded with so many different things and so many distractions. Uh, you know, you have to X, Y, Z, get into shape or your health or whatever. And uh, in the whole process, you actually forget about yourself. Small, small things, you know, and wo bahut hai. and uh, I have also like been through it where I'm the last person to care about how, what I want to, uh, you know, what will make me happy or things that I want to uh, 
do you know but yeah i mean the the sooner you realize this and you make that shift uh, i think wonderful things are going to happen uh, it's just uh, it's just about that little shift ki wo focus apne upar aa jaye and then the person will be attracted to you uh, in a similar way is what i believe and uh, what's your take on marriage um i i really uh, wish i uh, find somebody to get married to soon because uh, i think I, i'm happy to uh, you know settle down i mean but it's just a matter of really being sure about who you want to settle with to wo wo i think wo pehli cheez hogi but yeah i mean of course i want to i want to have kids i want to have a family i want to you know do everything normally but yeah just that the career ki wajah se thoda late ho jata hai jaldi but again there is no rule i mean uh, you do what you're supposed to do and what makes you happy yeah true uh, you know in fact maybe you should visualize a scenario we all know you're a mama's boy so uh, in a very positive way of course but tomorrow there's yeah. a situation where both are actually right so your wife and your mother uh, how would you handle that oh shit uh, <laughs> but both feel each other wrong and expect you to take their side so how are you going to handle that puri halat hone wali hai no but uh, I, i guess yeah if it's a, if it's my wife then i will probably take her side because ghar ja ke fir dande to padenge na <laughs> i mean yeah so and i and, and my mom i think i i kind of know she will eventually like she will understand for sure so i would uh, i would go with uh, taking uh, you know taking my wife's side that that that's a nice way of handling it and maybe then slowly call your mom from ha matlab wo call to ho hi jayega na ke mom yaar you know how it is <laughs> just support me and this uh, <laughs> so exactly. uh, yeah now so we've spoken about love marriage not now let's know more about you uh, tell me what's your way of chilling out maybe uh, on a holiday or something if you're not shooting what would you like to do so my biggest um, you know feel good factor in my life is the times i travel and that also specifically when i'm in nature you know it just i mean i, I it is important for everybody but i truly i really really miss it and i crave it at times ki mujhe mujhe ghas pe ja ke khada hona hai mujhe matlab pani mujhe sea ke paas jana hai you know so many times bombay i go to yari road i go to uh, juhu beach i mean i know it's not the best ideal place but still it just still gives me uh, you know happiness to just see the sea and the, that smell and you know nature it's just uh, so that really truly uh, means a lot to me so i i inevitably try to take out time uh, even if i'm working or not i want to get out of uh, the city i'm in and uh, take these small trips so that's i mean uh, that's of course one and then otherwise unwinding ke liye i um, i mean i have i i keep doing different different things you know like i i i i have phases where i play the guitar a lot like right now mai leke nahi aaya delhi so it's is there um, then the, like abhi during the lockdown i was i was learning spanish on an app you know i was trying to sing uh, again on an app but please don't ask me to sing because <laughs> 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 Uh, so yeah i mean i uh, i i play uh, video games at time i mean i'm not not obsessive but yeah it is something that i have and i enjoy it when i want to play so um, so yeah i mean i have different different things that i can do i mean go out uh, don't really go for drives and all but uh, but just relax in music listen to music have a have some wine you know meet some close friends i mean i don't like partying partying but i like to spend time with people i care about and people who are close to me so so yeah it's basically going out for a, a good meal or i mean some of my friends they cook really well so wo log special kuch bana lete hain and then uh, you know you just go hang out i mean it's it's that bonding that makes me happy as opposed to going out and um, pretending to be happy <laughs> clearly you knew my next question would be on partying or a house <laughs> party <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, okay so i think i should keep away all these questions and go really deep within and uh, ask you um, are you essentially an introvert 
I, mean, I wouldn't say completely an introvert, but yeah, I have been, I am pretty shy, you know, like I, I realized this and I have uh, kind of accepted it also. And, and this realization happened when I saw, uh, when I, when you interact, when you spend time with your uh, nieces and nephew. So there are certain ages and things, you know, they, their behavior changes and some, somewhere I found myself connecting with their behavior, you know, uh, and I'm like, yeah, I also used to be like this. You know, now I'm being all very cool and all telling them what to do. But I've been through this phase, you know, and it's, it is, it is normal, you know. And I, and I sometimes have felt that. So, again, um, being in the field I am, I need to obviously do the opposite of being shy or like, you know, going out there and taking charge and everything. So, um, of course, there are ways, like I said, how to break from something that is stuck like something that you're struggling with or I mean it wasn't a struggle but it was something that I was aware of and uh, overcoming it would obviously enhance a lot of other things and it's always a good thing to be able to uh, be way more vocal in public or like you know have that command over a group of people so um, I think I'm, I'm working on it and I think it's gotten uh, way better and um, yeah, I mean, it's but it's a journey for life. We're all all on it. So, <laughs> yeah. dheere dheere better hoti you just keep polishing your life. Uh, end of the day. And uh, three words that would describe you best, apart from, of course, introvert, which we just discussed. In, yeah, introvert, I never uh, use actually. But I would say, uh, uh, you know, Spiritual, if I can use that, yeah. I'm a spiritual being. I mean, I know that for a fact because I just keep going back to it in some form or the other. Mm -hmm. And um, um, passionate. Okay. Uh, I'm a Scorpio, so I think, I mean, it's not a given, but I do know that I'm pretty passionate about whatever I do. Uh, like, extremely, actually. <laughs> and... Um, uh, and if I want to use a little, maybe a dis use a little bit of a not so positive, mm -hmm. I would say complacent at times. So uh, is, uh, is that uh, one quality that you would want to change about yourself, complacency or something else? Well, it is something that I, I mean, like I said, jab main kuch karta hon, and if I'm passionate about it, then there is no, like, there's no tomorrow. But I'm complacent about proactive things, you know, like, for example, the website, I've been thinking about it for, I mean, many, many years. It's in my head, ye karna hai, exhibition, karna hai, ye karna hai. but wo hota nahi tha. I mean, at a very uh, half-hearted attempt. Hota tha. But now, I mean, I obviously, it's, it's just a matter of time and some kind of a intrinsic uh, catalyst. And for me, the lockdown was a catalyst in a way. And uh, it happened, you know. So then, once you start doing it, then you have to really put in that effort to make it happen. Because wo, matla, end of the day, tum, uh, I have to be involved completely, you know, for everything. And continuously send the data and uh, changes. Ye wo. Wo, I'm saying, uh, hey, complacency. I have seen myself become lazy and not do these things. But, um, I mean, it's something that I've, I've kind of uh, stepped up. For sure. <laughs> okay. It was really nice chatting with you. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Yeah, it's mine. You got to know you a lot more than, you know, in your years. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think uh, the, the way you asked me those questions, I think I've, I've shared something which I'm like, it's a very different kind of chat. I think it was very interesting and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Namrit.